Hi, welcome, lovely greetings to all dear students. This is Nabin Karki, and I will be presenting you the discussion of the questions that had been put on 24th February 21 for the subject physics in JEE Main 2021. All right, so let's begin. You know, we are going to present the solution in a crisp manner so that any students who has appeared for the examination in this year will find it very helpful. But together, we would also maintain that any students, you know, who would be watching this maybe two years later, three years later, for that student as well, the discussion is going to be really helpful. But we're going to make it short, crisp, precise, and to the point. The first question that is from the wave optics and you could see the question has been put from YDSE, the Young's double slit experiment. Now what does it say? Let's see. In a YDSE, the width of one of the slit is three times the other slit. So that means I can write it something like this. W2 will be equals to 3 of W1 where W determines the width of the slit, all right? And together, the sentence also says that the amplitude is proportional to the slit width, all right? So also that has been given that amplitude is directly proportional to the slit width. We got to calculate the ratio of maximum to minimum intensity in this interference pattern. So it's almost a very straightforward question. Now you know that I max by I min, which is the ratio of maximum to minimum intensity. So for that, we know the expression comes out to be A1 plus of A2, where A1 and A2 are the respective amplitude. And then denominator is A1 minus of A2 whole square. You get that point? Now, you could easily see that amplitude is directly proportional to W. So that means 1 will be 3W plus W. So upstairs is 4W. Downstairs is 2W. So that gets cancelled to become 2, which in turn will get squared. So that is going to be 4 is to 1. So 4 is to 1, we find it in option number 1. So option number 1 is the correct for this. Let's go for the second question, question number 2. Question number 2, you can see here. Now, it is from the thermal properties of matter related to thermal expansion. Let's see what it does. Now, here, if you look at the question, it's something like this. Each side of a box made of metal sheet in cube shape is A. So small a is the size of the cube. And it's at room temperature capital T. The coefficient of the linear expansion that has been given as alpha. Okay, so the conventions are as usual. There's nothing difference in that. The metal sheet is heated uniformly and the temperature rises by delta T, we got to calculate the increase in volume of that metal box. So if I represent V by volume, so delta V is what we're going to find out, right? So let's see how are we going to calculate that. And for that, let us see. Delta V is equals to gamma V delta T, where gamma is the coefficient of volumetric expansion. But the value of gamma has not been given, but it's very easily, you know, related. Gamma is equals to 3 alpha. The original volume, of course, is A cube and the temperature change, that's delta T. So this is the increase in volume. And where do I find it? I find it in option number two. So that's the correct option. Let's go for the next. If I go for the next one, now this is a very straightforward, you know, you can do it verbally. We got to relate the focal length with the radius of curvature 
and the mirror that I have is the convex mirror. So you know the relationship focal length will be r by 2 but if we go by the sign convention because option 2 and 3 you see the magnitude is same but the signs they are differing. Now it's a convex mirror it has positive focal length therefore option number 3 that will be the correct one. Let's go for the next question, question number 4.